fly soon, but that's okay. My car's a mess. We're just gonna be holding my camera because I've been trying to set it up in my car to balance, to film, and it's not working. There's a hair in my lens, in my camera lens, inside the glass. Let me know how that happens because I have no idea how to get it out. Let's see if we can, there she is. Do you see that line like right there? That's the hair in my lens, so. That's fun. Anyway, I just left the farmer's market. It was so hot and I kind of went too late. It's like now 11.30. So a lot of the stuff was already um, gone. Okay, so first I got a coffee. I got a vanilla honey latte, ice latte with almond milk. It's really good. I find it hard to believe that that's just sweetened with honey, but it's okay. Okay, next I got some flour, little baby flour tortillas. I love homemade tortillas. They just taste so much better. And we're gonna do tacos this week, I think. And then next, this is the main reason I go to the farmer's market is for the dips. There's this stand. And I actually don't know what it's even called, but we just call him the dip guy. And there's a couple guys, so there's a few dip guys, but Anyway, the dips are amazing. They didn't have the one that I really wanted for a dinner this week, so we might go again Wednesday to try to get some. We were gonna make blackened swordfish skewers with like rice and a mango pineapple salsa this week. And I wanted to get this jalapeno cilantro dip to mix with it, but they didn't have any. So we got our usuals. We got the Yala Titzers. Oh, I think they're called Yala Titzers maybe. I just got regular tzatziki and it's all homemade, it's so good. And then I got a spicy tzatziki, this one is insane. And then Mac really loves this, it's, I love it too, it's so good. It's this cucumber salad with like tomatoes, onions, cucumber, um, lemon juice, olive oil, spices, and I don't know what spices they put in this, but it's amazing. And then the spicy tzatziki is key for cheese, it's cultured cream, non-fat milk, fresh cucumber, cayenne, chili, dill, spices, lemon juice, and olive oil. Um, so they have like really clean ingredients and they're just amazing and we always do dinners with them. So for the Greek dips, we'll usually do like Greek bowls with chicken or steak. Well, I really didn't get a lot. I was gonna get some fresh produce, but um, the selection was not the best right now because I'm a little bit late and I feel like all of the really good produce got snatched up. You kind of have to go early to these things because it's always so packed. So I just got back from grocery shopping and um, forgot to film. So I'll show you guys everything I got. I did two different stops. I don't know about you guys, but Every time I get new snacks at the grocery store, I have to open them right away and try them. And these are so good. Okay, I guess I'll start with Sprouts since I just started talking about the snack. But these are the Element Sea Salt Caramel Crispy Minis. Very good. Next, we got some raw milk. That's mostly for Mac, but I sometimes like to put a little bit in my coffee when I'm feeling bold. And then I got the Simple Mills um, almond crackers. These are cracked black pepper. And we're out of coffee right now, so I picked up a couple of these pop and bottle lattes. These are vanilla cold brew almond lattes. They have super clean ingredients. It's almond milk, dates, cold brew coffee, vanilla extract, Himalayan pink salt, clove extract, and cardamom extract. Cardamom and cardamom. Cardamom extract. I have no idea how to say that. Anyway, they're good. And then I wanted to try this Nancy's probiotic 100% grass-fed yogurt. 41 billion live probiotics. Another, oh, they spilled all over. So I finally got my hands on the Smart Sweets Tropical Sours. 
everyone has said these are so good and i will say these are the best ones yet specifically the pink ones i think they're the tropical punch ones it's lime twist pineapple orange and tropical punch only three grams of sugar for the entire bag so that's pretty good so i got a couple of those got the magic mind mental performance elixir I didn't realize this had caffeine in it, so we'll see how that goes. And then I got a couple of the Epic beef strips. I got the Wagyu and then the venison. And that's all from Sprouts. Moving on to Trader Joe's. We got some hydrangeas, cilantro, romaine. I'm gonna make the Caesar salad pizza tonight, I think, for dinner. But on the chicken crust, Got a cucumber for juices, um, garlic, celery, white rice. Let's see. Some parmesan. Um, I did not need to get these, but I've been wanting to try the almond croissants. I usually get the chocolate croissants, but they were sold out. And then I just got some chicken. Um, I got some powdered sugar. I was out. Some coconut cream and coconut milk. Not really for a particular reason. I like it for like making a dairy-free whipped cream alternative and then also for my coffee. Black beans um, for the swordfish dinner. Some anchovies for Caesar dressing. Ginger for juicing. Did I already say I got avocados? Okay, yeah, I got avocados. And that's everything. for the day we walked the dogs got my pop and bottle coffee don't look at my nails they are all like snapping off right now i got this one caught in the dryer when i was taking my clothes out 
don't know how don't know what it got caught on but it literally just ripped clean off hurt so bad and then my thumb came off too so so i'm really trying to get back into a lot of the wellness routines and habits that i've been neglecting a little bit i used to juice every single day like a little over a year ago and um i loved it it's like i think i just stopped because it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to clean the juicer but that's just me being lazy so we're gonna juice this morning i'm doing max on a call sorry if you hear him um but i'm gonna do a green juice and we're gonna do this is like the combination of things that i really love i don't like my juices to be super sweet or with a ton of sugar so the only sugary things i really have is like lemon and green apple but i do cucumber celery green apple lemon ginger and then i'm going to be adding some chlorophyll drops as well i actually had this juice from a store recently in santa barbara and it was so good and i woke up looking snatched like it really helped with bloating so yeah i'm gonna start getting back into this every morning and i thought i would just show you guys how i make my juices you guys don't have a juicer you can definitely use a blender and then strain it it's like a little bit more time consuming but i would get a juicer it's like a pretty good investment they're just kind of annoying to clean do I got one stalk of celery in. I just do the Trader Joe's ones. There's like two stalks that come in a bag and I cut off the tips and then the ends. Um, and just make sure you wash it. That piece just looks a little scary. There's a lot so I'm going to cut it in half. But I just pulled up to the fish market. We go to Chula Seafood here in Scottsdale. There's also one in Phoenix. Um, it's really good seafood. I never really get seafood at the grocery store here because I just don't trust it. But if you do, always look for um, flash frozen, wild caught. I never get farm fish. That is just disgusting. So I'm going to start prepping the mango salsa so it has time to sit and kind of marinate. And I'm going to do mango, red onion, cilantro, 
some red and yellow peppers and a little bit of lime juice and then maybe add avocado to it we might just do avocado on the side but yeah i don't know if i want to mix that in yet um but i will show you guys exactly how i'm gonna make it looks like I'm gonna set this in the fridge for a couple hours just to kind of marinate and all the flavors can mix up together but it is so pretty it's so colorful and so good for summer dinners or lunches or poke bowls like literally whatever you can put it you can eat this just with chips if you want it's so refreshing but yeah that's what it looks like p.m. but I'm so exhausted I think I'm gonna try to go to bed early I have a really big day of shooting stuff tomorrow so um, I need to do a lot of ads and edit and just get quite a few things done but dinner was so good and of course when I went to film dinner my camera was dead so I charged it and then I started filming on my phone um, and then my phone storage filled up so there's like a part when I'm putting the bowl together that it kind of skips so sorry about that but you guys got to see the final product and how I made it and everything I included in it it's so easy to make so good and really healthy so I'll like put the recipe in the description for you guys as well but, but I think I'm gonna wrap the vlog up here I really loved making this vlog I love holding myself accountable to do things that i know are gonna like make me feel good like working out hitting the sauna 
and like my little habits like juicing and just that kind of stuff and I like doing it for you guys and vlogging it because it just makes it more fun for me but um I love like all things wellness I don't know I've really gotten into the whole like health thing over the last few years and I just find it super interesting especially because I struggle with you know my skin and digestive issues it's always something that is very intriguing to me and makes me feel so much better when I'm applying to my lifestyle so anyways let me know if you want more like this and um, yeah I will see you guys in my next vlog